Now, who doesn't like spirograph sets? So this is me, I guess. So this is a uh, this is another old mathematical movie. This tape is a continuation of the last tape, so it may just seem like an abrupt transition. But I'm just sort of trying to archive all my materials on the computer, or a bunch of them. So here's the original code. It's quite simple. It's impossible to read it on the TV screen, but it's just a little couple of little parametric equations, and it makes beautiful pictures like that. And here's, oh, that's not the one I wanted to show you. First, this is what happens when we change one of the parameters. Oops, where'd it go? So the number of node, nodes depends on the greatest common divisor between the two, there's two parameters. Okay, now that was two wheels. If we have a third wheel, we have an outer ring and then a wheel moving within that and then a wheel moving within that. This is the kind of spirograph stuff that starts to happen. Here, the this is parameterized by the size of the third wheel, I believe. And it only went so far, but you can kind of imagine what might happen if the uh, size of the third wheel were to grow. Pretty amusing. And I think we'll pause the tape. So one very nice thing has been able has been to uh, be able to render nice images of the dodecaphone stuff. So this is this is um, not a surface pattern. Again, this is a structure that is internal. It's made up of zillions of little tiny dodecahedra. And in particular, this image had the the object had about two and a half million polygons. Of course, only a tiny fraction of those are actually were necessary. This was made in Mathematica output to sort of write the f the transforms necessary for the substitution system. It made the thing. Then the system was iterated in a program used by Dan Kresh, the out which sent output to GeomView, which then sent output to RenderMan and made the image. So you can't see the whole thing at once here. How many levels did you go to? I don't know. Okay, let me get another thing up. To see this properly, you have to stand approximately four inches from your TV set So, this is for you, Lee. Apparently a student here, two or three years ago, made a all the 59 stellated icosahedra. So we can just kind of grab one and click. Is there a particular one you'd like to see? I can't see the buttons to load them in, so I have to kind of stab around until... Looks like there's two of them. Hmm, hang on. 
Okay. Okay, here's another one. Okay. Have you built this one yet? So there's another one. Magnus Winninger was here on July 31st and is apparently working his way through many of the stellations of the Tricontahedron. <laughs> they make the uh, stellations, the Icosahedron, look pretty mild. But this one has some pretty neat symmetries. what this is. I have no idea. But this seems like a good place to stop.